very much for that. Of course, I mean, the strong of the, uh, of the two in terms of price action was Global Health, Medanta, Bikaji came off uh, from the listing highs. Uh, Manisha is here to talk about the sugar space, some announcements coming through from the for the sugar sector later, uh, you know, yesterday evening. Uh, Manisha, good morning. Oh, well, yes. Uh, you know, now there are two or three things which really seem to be supporting sugar. One, uh, the international markets are trading firm. So you have the raw and white sugar trading at five to seven month highs, respectively. And out of the six million tons which has been allowed for export, four million tons has been contracted yet again. In addition to that, yesterday we saw government allowing sugar exports worth of 14,400 tons to European Union and U.S. And this is under tariff rate quota. This is outside of six million tons. So when you look at the overall math, the expectation is that with the kind of report card that we have, where the production is 36.5 million tons, carryover from last year is at 6 million tons. So that is 42.5 million tons of sugar available in the country. So even as you look at consumption, 6 million tons of export, and the current 14,000 tons of export as well, the expectation being that by the end of January, government could review and allow more exports is something that the markets also seem to be feeding on. Okay, Manisha, thanks a lot for that. So in case you missed out on any of these stocks,